So next part is effect of changes in the concentration levels of signaling molecules. Here, what I have done is I have tried to allow the change in the concentration of input signal in each generation concentration change in the concentration of receptor molecules and this one is change in in the concentration of receptor molecules and in change when we are changing the concentration of receptor molecules it is immediately trying to reach the maximum fitness value that is 1.0 for the two stronger values but when k is less than 10 then it is not exactly maximum but it is close to 0.9 so what we see here there is adaptation in output response that means it does not always remain sustained response or always activated response but it tries to go back to the zero values that is called fully or partially adapted responses those peaks which are completely going back to zero it is called fully adapted those responses peak which are partially going back is called partially adapted so here we can see clearly in generation one since the parameter kinetic parameter is so weak so it is not showing any big change but in generation 50 generation 200 it is clearly visible so it can be basically seen as a change now it is change in in the intermediate signaling molecules concentration and then another one is change in in the concentration of target molecule that is recept uh, the final uh, molecule that is ARC in this case and finally this is experimental validation for the partially activated pho phospho arc like let's say part of single phosphorylated arc which is like just to justify i will not say it is accurately justifying our computational prediction but it is somehow showing closer to our work next is now the dose response relationship for all the four systems here we can clearly see in four systems they are behaving differently now the conclusion is a stronger interactions and addition of new nodes are just helping to go for improved cellular responses 